Hey friends, welcome to Day Bird Aviary. My name's Robert, I'm the bird master here, and I, we are, uh, we got a thunderstorm a-brewing, so we're inside the bird house today, because it's just got roosters crowing. It's about to rain at any moment. You can hear the thunder. Look at what I have here. This is a beautiful blue fawn duck hookbill duck. Now, she's not extreme hookbill as of yet, and we don't know yet until she's she's much older. But we have a problem. She has been eating this Missouri waterfowl starter crumble pellet. It is wonderful for baby ducks. However, it's really high in protein, and high protein in baby waterfowl, domestic ducks, and domestic geese can be a problem in the fact that it will develop angel wing. Angel wing is when you see a duck with its wings stuck out at an odd angle. And this little baby has developed the beginnings of angel wing here. You see how it's holding out. Now it, it's, it's, not as, it's not as bad as it was like a week ago. And I've been waiting, hoping that it would, it would rectify itself. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it anyhow. What happens is when the new feathers start to grow, they are full of blood. And it makes it very, very heavy. And if they develop these feathers ahead of schedule because of the high protein food, it's going to be too heavy for the bone structures to carry. It's just like feeding a large breed dog like a Great Dane or a Great Pyrenees or a Newfoundland a really high protein puppy food when they're very young. Their body mass grows in such an extended rate uh, that their bone structure is not able to carry that weight. I made a video about angel wings several years ago when we had a baby Muscovy duck that had this issue. She had to be kept caged and so she got commercial food longer than she should. What you want to do, in my opinion, is to get these waterfowl out on the ground, on the grass, as soon as you possibly can. Not necessarily free range, but like in a chicken tractor or something. Having them in a brooder inside your house when they are tiny little babies is absolutely wonderful and it's great. But as soon as you can get them on the grass so that they're eating more naturalistic food, the better off they're going to be. You can see how she's holding this out. In that video with the Muscovy duck, I used duct tape. And one of the most common questions that I got in that video was, how long do you leave the tape on? And I did not answer that question in the video. Leave the tape on at least a week or until it falls off. That's basically what I do. If it falls off sooner than a week, then you're going to want to retape it. I'm not going to use duct tape today, or I think it was medical tape that we used. Yeah, it was medical tape, I believe. Yeah, Catherine's here helping me. It was medical tape that we used, the, the white medical tape. I'll put a link to that video down below, and you can watch that video if you want. And you, you can leave a comment and let me know what we used. But I'm going to use, uh, we've picked out some pretty teal colored <laughs> vet wrap. It's like an aqua. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Don't start making up colors. I'm not. Catherine tells me things like fuchsia or magenta is a color. I think those are old lady names. Fuchsia, magenta, aqua, lavender, lilac, You're just mint. making stuff up. I'm Most not. of those are plant names. Most, yeah, they're like plant names. They're all plant names so, in colors. This little duck is not going to be happy that I'm doing this. Not at this all. This other wing, this is her right wing. Look, I just want to take a moment and show how beautiful this bird is. Now these came from my friend Claire. She's probably one of the top hookbill breeders in the country, if not the whole world. This is this is a normal wing, and this one has angel wings. This is the wing that, that sometimes hangs loose. He tucked it underneath, that's why it was uh, like that, when, but this is a normal wing. Yeah, this when she's just flapping, it, it, it holds loose. So I'm going to tuck it under, and I'm going to wrap it to her body, just like a splint. But uh, 
Claire knows more about duck genetics, duck colorants than anybody in the whole world. She is, yes, Lord, we hear the thunder. It's so loud. Um, it's, all, all of our animals are freaking out by now. Yeah, we better get this done so that we can go inside. You want to focus down here? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Let's see. It is as simple as it seems. Just wrap it with duct with duct tape. Not again. duct tape. Duct tape with horse skin off. Well, it is a duck. Good duck. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Catherine's wanting to help, but I've got to open up enough of this. This is the tape that sticks sticks to itself. And yeah, you're gonna want to restrict access to uh, swimming water. Let's see. Hey, baby. Oh. Yeah, I'll hold this thing up. Okay. This little girl's going to need a name. Chocolate. Not chocolate, because she's not chocolate. Chocolate is a color of a duck. Oh. She is a blue fawn. She is like a dark gray. You know what? Smokey! You need to focus. I am. Okay, let's put your head under. Smokey. And we're going to tuck that wing under. I may have to do both wings together. Oh, okay. I'll hold this for you. Oh, you got it. Comment down below a name for this stuff. Good little duck girl. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Oh. You were trying to unroll it the wrong way, I believe. I'm always doing something backwards, <laughs> aren't I? I don't know. I don't... Oh, cool baby. Obviously, do not get this too tight. One of the nice things about a hook-bill duck is that they are a lot like a Indian runner duck and that their legs are set very far back on their body. They almost have that upright appearance that an Indian runner duck has. One of our uh, baby hook fields actually looks like a runner duck. Well, they, I think they, there was some runner ducks used in their development, you know, a million years ago. That's a tell. Uh, nobody believes that the earth is a million years old, but anyhow, that was just a joke. So there she is. Yeah. She looks ridiculous and silly. You should have made it where it looks like a short. Like a shirt? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would look so cute. Now. She is probably going to pull this off in just a few days and we're going to reevaluate and rebandage her. Not bandage that she's injured, but she just has She is injured. She just has this goofy little condition. But let's turn her around and show her little face. Isn't she a beautiful, beautiful bird? It kinda of reminds me of a raccoon's face. With like the stripes. Yes. You can you can tell that her head structure is different than like a pickin or a and Kathy he's Campbell. not choking her. I'm not choking her. I'm just holding her head she's, up. She's disgusting. Because she's going to want to push it down. And we just want to show you that beautiful she is color. beautiful. I know. She looks like a cat we used to have. Tiger? Yep. With her stripes. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed. Leave us a comment down below. And one of the best things you can do to help us out is to share this video with your friends on whatever social media platform you use. Facebook groups work really, really well for us. Like I said, God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.